Sunbirds fall to Hawaii Pacific, 66-50. Head coach C.J. Haydock. Uh, it was really the most, uh, the, the epitome of a defensive game at the beginning, but then Hawaii Pacific got going. What did you think caused their run early in the first half that kind of caused some slippage mm. uh, towards halftime? I thought uh, we were really disjointed on offense, and I thought we let that enjo- uh, affect our defensive mm. grit. Um, which we've been really good about holding on, holding on, holding on, and having our breakthrough. And I thought we got frenetic and undisciplined on offense. And we have one pathway, mm-hmm. be the hardest playing team in the league. And I thought Hawaii Pacific outcompeted us. I thought we were really shoddy on the defensive side of the ball while we were trying to work through the offensive side of the ball. And once you have both sides, you know, I think it's a hallmark of a young team. I think, like, young guys want to score. And when they don't score, it's really hard for them to keep a level of competing mm. that's unparalleled. And when we compete hard, it's unparalleled in our league. Um, and and we, we had some slippage on that um, that has to be better. There's some maturity there and some coaching that we've got to figure out a way to get them to snap back and respond a little better. Well, and I think it's almost sometimes people assume, okay, so you figure it out, you have that four-game win streak, and then everything's going to be great and everything's going to be perfect the rest of the way. But this, you talk about hallmarks of a young team, you knew there was going to be ups and downs. And so as yep. you figure out with maybe some of that effort, what – can you take from this as a learning lesson to, to get back to maybe that more level yeah. sort of play? It's a really good question. Um, I think it's it's not about X's and O's or scheme. It's mm. about discipline. It's about response to adversity. Uh, and those things are really hard. Mm-hmm. And so um, I think that has to be something you teach one-on-one to young men. Um, I think everybody has a little bit of different response, and you have to meet them where they're at. Um, but also, like, I think, I think it serves as a reminder of who we can be they need to be reminded of. Um, so I think it's somewhere in the nebulous, right? Like, this is the challenge of coaching and leading is, like, we're going to find it in film, and we're going to find it in one-on-one relationships with them, and I'm going to pick up some of them, and assistant coaches are going to pick up others of them, and other solutions are going to be find in skill work, and the great unknown about coaching and about getting better and about developing it is somewhere in that mess is where that improvement is. Um, but our, our, our guys have to be we got we got to rally a little bit with our discipline and our confidence and kind of our emotional maturity. Well, if I told you in December you go two and two on this home stand, you say, "Hey, we're we're building, we're trending in the right yeah. direction." Yeah. Now you still have five of the last eight here at the Special Event yeah. Center, but you're going on the road. Uh, yeah. What are you looking for in the time that we won't be here and see you here at the Special Event Center? Monster road trip in in uh, in the Bay, uh, Dominican. It poses a lot of challenge to us. Art, who's who's got a chance to win the league, one of three teams. Um, and so I just want to see our response. I thought um, we've had really good responses all year. Um, and sometimes young people flinch. Sometimes us in our late 30s flinch. Um, so there's a little flinch in us right now. And can we respond to that? Can we attack it the right way on Monday? Can we attack it the right way on Tuesday? Uh, can we have a lot of ownership for each and every one of us, from coaches to players all the way down? Um, that is where it's found. And so we got to be better for sure. One guy I, I should talk to you about before I let you go, Harrison Panisi had 21 on Wednesday at 19 tonight. Yep. Um, we, you kind of challenged him a little bit before this week in, in his development. Um seems like he is starting to to at least find the basket no question yeah uh scoring put it on the floor touch around the rim uh all the stuff we always knew he would be and so um we're gonna need to keep getting that out of him and and get some other offense out of other guys as well well good luck on the road coach appreciate the time head coach cj haydock sunbirds fall tonight 66 to 50 to hawaii pacific the birds will be back at home uh in a little over a week they're gonna go see dominican on the 8th, Academy of Art on the 10th, and then they will host Dominican here on the 15th.